What's up guys, it's your boy Kurt, coach of the East Coast Bishop, bringing you week, I think, 9, is it? Of APA Academy? Yeah, week 9. Um, this week we play JB Westside and his Cincinnati Dreads. Um, so, his team, honestly, really scary. Really, really scary. Um, so, we'll go over the team here in just a second. We're both 3 and 5. We're we're basically fighting for the final playoff spot at this point. Um, there's a lot that can happen. So we've got the Defog Corviknight, um, Defog Roost, Ironhead, Brave Bird. I have a sub Belly Drum Darmanitan, which I'm not going to leave with. I'm going to leave with the Life Orb, uh, Alolan Raichu. We've got a Spideff Bulk Up Conkelda to try and take on Hatterene if he decides to bring that. We've got the just the uh, Fizdef Special, uh, Fizdef Primarina. Just sort of there to take hits, and we got our stealth rocking right on. Basically, my game plan is to either weaken or remove the Vaporeon if he brings it, and then go into Darmanitan and sub Belly Drum because at plus six, I literally kill everything in one hit. So that's the game plan. Um, I'm trying to keep rocks off with Corviknight. I'm trying to offensively pressure with the Alolan Raichu. I've got bulk up three attacks, Conkelda. So hopefully, hopefully we can make this work. So he does bring the Vaporeon, he brings the Hatterene, he brings the Malpico, comma o, Rillaboom, and Salazzle. Honestly, really annoying, but um, we'll we'll make it work. Um, if he's Fizdef, comma o, I still beat it with Dumbenitan as I'm running Zen Headbutt. So again, that's my game plan. Um, I can still, I can still hit it pretty hard. I've got Primarina that can also switch into it. Um, Prim's my switch into that. So he's gonna live with Salazzle, I live with the Raichu, so I'm just gonna click the Vault Switch because he didn't bring a ground type. So that's huge. Um, we just got the... Uh, we got a little bit of lag here. Uh, Raichu, Alola versus Salazzle. Um, if he's Nasty Plot, for example, my Psychic would kill here. So what's he got? What's his switching? What's his switching? Yeah, he probably gets more Pico here. So I'm just gonna Volt Switch though. Um, this gives me the momentum if he does stay in. Um, also means that I can get in right on, which always checks this thing every single time. There's not a whole lot that I think he can that Salazzle gets. Yeah, I don't think there's anything that Salazzle gets in Sword and Shield. That um, yeah, so he just goes into the Rillaboom. That's fine, that's fine. Um, I can probably go into Corviknight to scare this thing out. Um, so how much does that do? That does nothing. That's probably Assault Vested. Let's try and work this out. Uh, Rillaboom. If he's got no bulk. So he's max HP if he's Assault Vest. Mm, I think that still did too much. Um, but I'm just going to go into Corviknight. I'm going to try and force this thing back out. I'm going to double into the Rhydon, I think. I think Rhydon's my double in this matchup. Um, let me just see here. More Pico. If he's Adamant Banded versus Rhydon, what does Seed Bomb do? If he does bring Seed Bomb. Seed Bomb doesn't do anywhere near enough. So I'm going to double into Rhydon, I think think is my play. Let me just... I'm just going to think about this. Yeah, I definitely think Rhydon is my play. If he stays in here, then that's a really good play, but uh, I just have no... I don't really have any reason to stay in here, because all that allows him to do is go into Salazzle. So, we are faster. He didn't creep this, because he can't touch... He can't touch that. So, he's going to U-turn. So, he's going to get the pivot momentum. Um, if he goes Vaporeon... I think I just have to go into... I think I just go into Raichu, don't I? If he goes Vaporeon, but he might want Vaporeon healthy to take on Dominitan, I guess. That could be a thing. Um, do we take a Vaporeon Skull to get up rocks? Vaporeon versus Rhydon. Scald never kills if... Um, depending on my HP, I'm going to check my HP after this. I 
don't think it kills though. Oh, it's a roll to kill. So I'm at 199. I'm at what, 94%? It's a 37% for him to kill unless he's got investment. Grassy terrain is up, so my earthquake doesn't do anything. Why are these at level 100? I need to turn those back down to 50 and reimplot them into the calc. I don't know why those were set at level 100. Um, so I think I think I just go for rocks because he probably sees the right shoe coming in. But I need rocks up. Um, it doesn't look like he brought removal. So that's really, really nice, not having to deal with the removal. So he's going to baton pass because he thought I would switch. So I now have the momentum back on my side. Um, so that's, that's really, really nice. Getting the momentum back on my side. So he's going to go into Rillaboom. I can always go into Corviknight here. So we're going to get up the rocks. That was always my play, is to just get up rocks. Um, I basically had to go for that, I didn't have any other choice. Um, so Rhydon's back at full HP. So we're just gonna go into Corviknight, because I lose nothing by going Corviknight. If he knocks off my Heavy Ball, then that's fine, because that just means he does less with Heavy Ball. He could U-turn into Solazel here, but again Rhydon is 100% a check to that. I don't think it gets anything in the way of like nature power or anything. So yeah, he goes for drum beating. So I think I just stay in here and just go for... I think I just go for the brave bird, I don't take any chances. I try and get chip onto something. Yeah, so Lazzle doesn't have any way to touch, um... Doesn't have any way to touch my ride on, so that's really really nice. So he's going to stay in and just U-turn, trying to get the chip damage. I'm going to go for Brave Bird, see what he goes into. He could go into more Piku, but again, I have right on that can switch into that if he aura wheels. It's very possible that he clicks Rapid Spin, which again allows right on in for free. The terrain dies out. I can go for a Stone Edge. Actually, I probably Mega Horn there, because he probably goes back into Rillaboom. Thinking I Earthquake to try and... um. So how much does right ons to Rillaboom, if he's just a max HP, because I think he's max HP Assault Vest. So he does go into Salazzle, so I'm just going to get the Brave Bird off. Mega Horn would do about 66%, so that doesn't do anything, um, but that's really nice chip damage. I think I just go back into Rhydon and just fire off a Mega Horn, to be honest. He doesn't really like Rhydon in this matchup. Right on does so much damage. It hits so hard. So we're gonna go into right on. Um, I think right on is every single time on this is my play. He could toxic it, I guess. He could toxic, but that's fine, honestly. I'm no worried about a toxic. He's gonna sub. Um, he's probably sub toxic protect with disable. Ah, <sighs> could be really annoying. Um, so let's go for the Stone Edge here and get him to disable that while I Earthquake after. Um, let's just hope I don't miss this here. <laughs> that could be really annoying. Yeah, he's sub protect toxic with disable, I think. So that's really obnoxious for me. And we're gonna go for the Stone Edge. We do land, we don't miss. Now I'm gonna fire off the Earthquake. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for the Earthquake, because that's really my only play. So he's gonna go for the Toxic. He's probably gonna disable this turn, I'd assume. He's also not... I don't think he's Black Sludge, is he? I didn't see Black Sludge pop. Uh, he might just be, yeah, he's, he's Black Sludge. I didn't... I didn't see it pop before. So we fade the sub. 
Getting toxic stalled here is really, really annoying. Um, I don't really have any way around that. There's nothing I could really do here. Um, I'm just going to Stone Edge just in case he decides to go for the Disable on my Earthquake so that he can sub. I basically have to play on a choke. Now he goes for the Protect. I'm going to Earthquake after. Yeah, I think I go for Earthquake here. Or I could Mega Horn, I guess? He's taking a lot of chip. Um, how much does Mega Horn do to this Salazzle? Because that's 100% max HP. Uh, Salazzle sub toxic. This is really annoying. I don't ever break the sub, is the problem. I'm just going to Earthquake in case he just has Disable and decides to Disable. I can't keep clicking the same move back to back. So he withdraws, he probably goes into a Rillaboom, I'd assume. Yeah, Rillaboom. I kind of saw that coming, but... It was so obvious. Fuck, dude. I didn't really have any other play. I just have to go for chip on that. Um, once Dom gets set up though, I think it's fine because I have rocks up. So if I get Dom in on this, I could sack this to go Dom and just try and go for the sub. Um, I don't see any... Well, since he's sub-toxic, I don't see any need for this mod. He could go for knockoff here, he could go for U-turn. I'm just going to Mega Horn. He's just going to U-turn thinking I would switch, yeah. I think Mega Horn was always my play here. He gets a crit on the U-turn, that's fine. What does he go into? Um, he could go comma -o And be obnoxious with that. Clangarang, yeah, he goes in a he goes into comma -o. In grassy terrain, do I break the comma -o sub? So he's obviously offensive for me to do 25% with rocks. Yeah, in terrain I break sub, so... Um, that makes me feel like he's defensive. Just based on that. Purely based on that, I think he's defensive. I'm just going to go for Earthquake. I'm trying to sack this. I don't see the need for this anymore because of his Salaz what his Salazzle actually is. So he's going to go for the Drain Punch. He doesn't actually kill. That's crazy. Um, so we're going to do about 20%-ish. He's not going to be able to heal that off with Leftovers. But, yeah, he's 100% defensive. Yeah, there's no way he's not the defensive. So he's going to heal that off, but... um. I think what this does allow me to do is go Raichu and just click Psychic for free. Now that Salazzle is super weak. Um, actually, I could click. Th I could go Raichu and just Thunderbolt. I think I just go Raichu and just Thunderbolt. Is my play. I can't let him get in anything for free. So I go Raichu. I just Thunderbolt. I go. Uh, do I go back to or do I double in? Do I Vault? Do I vault? I think I actually might be able to vault switch into... Um, I don't know if he's going to be Rob Porion is the problem. I'm just going to Thunderbolt. I don't have any reason to overpredict. Yeah, he obviously has to switch. He can't sack this. So he goes into he goes into the Hatterene. That's fine, that's fine. Um, Hatterene from my right. You should still take a fair bit, even if he's max HP. Yeah, I still do two hit KO it, so yeah, he's... What is his spread? For me to do that much damage, that's a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage. Um, I'm just going to Thunderbolt again. I don't lose anything Thunderbolting. If he wants to go Salazzle, well, that's fine, I guess. He can't ever go Salazzle safely, is the thing. Um, and I think Dom uses... Dom actually uses the Salazzle to set up. Dom uses Salazzle to set up in this because if he talk if he subs when I sub, I can belly drum 
and he has to switch because I don't think he has an attacking move. Or if he does, it's probably like Sludge Wave. But, um. Huh. So we're just gonna kill the Hatterene. So that's the second death of the game, is his Hatterene. That was a huge problem for me, too. My only switch in was Corviknight, and I didn't want that taking a million in ship. Um. This grassy terrain's really helping me out. I mean, it probably goes Rillaboom again here. And I think I just fire off the Psychic and try and get some chip damage on it. Honestly, I think my players should just get the chip damage on a Rillaboom. I really want to put everything into Dom slash Conkelda range. That's my main goal here. Maybe even Corviknight if I can kill the... So he goes into the... He goes into the Morpico. This will tell me a lot about his set. So, we break the Sash. Um, I have to go for the Focus Blast, don't I? Yeah, I have to fire off the Focus Blast and hope that he isn't Scarfed. He could be Scarfed, but I don't think so. So he is Protect. Okay, so I'm just going to fire off the Focus Blast. So now he knows I'm Focus Blast. So he's probably going to try and go for the Aura Wheel. But he's also got to be able to live this. So he probably switches. But I don't lose anything by Focus Blasting. Because what it does is it gives me chip onto something. Uh, Salazzle with the Subtoxic. He doesn't have the Grassy Terrain anymore. How much does Focus Blast do from Life Orb? I still do a respectable chunk to it. I think I put it out of sub range. Um. Yeah. I think my play is always Focus Blast. Because he could predict me to try and predict the Salazzle coming in now that he knows I have Focus Blast. And stay in to get the kill here. So that's basically what I'm banking on here is he. No, do so he does switch. I should have gone for the Psychic. Should have gone for my gut. So he does go into the Rillaboom. This will be the big test. Um, I have rocks up on his side of the field. So if he's... If he's not Assault Vested, not max HP. And I miss anyway, so that's fun. Um, I think he's probably max HP Assault Vest though. Just the way he's been playing this. I still do about 34%. So I'm just going to Vault. I don't think... I'm looking at this and I don't know if I need Prim. I guess Corviknight's expendable though. Yeah, that's 100%. No, that's not Assault Vest. What is he? For me to do about 20%. Yeah, I'm going to go into Corviknight. I might just Roost after. I'm just going to Roost. Oh, yeah, I just got to Roost. I have to go for it. I can't be... Constantly taking chip. I think I just roost. Unless you turn no, he drum beatings. So yeah, I roost and I get the. I get to get the roost off. Um, I guess I still have Conk, which scares out the Morpigo. because he doesn't want to be taking. He can't take a mark punch. So I'm just gonna roost. Um, I don't lose anything roosting. Um, he just hard switches. So he goes into the Morpico. Interesting. So he's just taking more and more chip. I'm just going to get my roost off. That's 100% my play, I think, is just to get the roost off. Um, so he does do the Aura Wheel switch. This gives me a free switch in to Raichu, I think. I think Raichu is my switch in here, because then he has to protect after. He has to go for the protect here, because he needs the electric type aura wheel, I think. So we're going to go back into Raichu. And he does go for the protect, yeah. Yeah, that was pretty obvious. Um, so getting, <laughs> getting a nice read here on that protect is huge. Um... So, I think I just Focus Blast here in case he wants to play mind games on anything. He can't risk me not Focus Blasting by switching, I think. 
because he knows that I know he's going to switch. So yeah, he's just going to stay in here and protect again. As I just go for the Focus Blast again. I think I'm going to do the same thing as last time and just Focus Blast again. Uh, because last time he switched, which gave me the momentum. So we get rid of the terrain. Um, yeah, I'm just going to Focus Blast again. I, I can't take any risks with this. Yeah, he does stay in. Fucking hell, dude. Why? Why? I killed there. I killed. God damn it, dude. Fuck. I have to go conk and scare him out. Fuck, that's so annoying, man. I shouldn't... I should have killed that just there. That should be dead. Um, he knows that he can't take a mark punch. Unless he's like... I'm just gonna drain punch. I God, that's so annoying, dude. I don't think anything this Morpico can fire off will actually kill my Conkelda, but... <sighs> Man. Is a, yeah, he just goes into the Salazzle. Does he sack that here because of rocks? Yeah, I think rocks makes this a kill. Yeah, so we kill the Salazzle, that's huge. Um, although I lose something I can take advantage of. If he goes combo, I'm just going to bulk up. Because uh, he's lost Hatterene, he's lost the Salazzle. Morpico can't beat this. Yeah, he goes into the... He goes into that. I'm just gonna... I think I just bulk up. I really do think I just bulk up. Because what's he got left? He's got... More Pico, comma, o, Rillaboom. Yeah. Bulk up is always my play here. I have Corviknight in the back, which I think at this point can just win if I get the defense boosts up. If I defense boost, I think... I think I just win with that. So he's just gonna give me the um, guts boost, because now Konk is badly poisoned. So we now have a plus one Guts Conk Elder. How much does... Comma uh, Defensive take from a Drain Punch if he's full Fizz Def? I still do about half. I still do half. So I might just bulk up again and see if he's got Dragon Tail. Oh, actually no, I Drain Punch. What am I saying? I'm just going to Drain Punch here. Um... Because I've had Drain Punch here, so he knows I'm Bulk Up, he knows I'm Drain Punch. Probably thinks I'm Mark Punch with Knock, probably. Um, I'm still really annoyed that I lost Raichu, because that was huge in this, where I'm at right now. Um, I think Primarina can, like, semi-take on the Vaporeon, I guess. Uh, I just don't know. So he taunted me. That's fine, because I was going for Dream Punch anyway. So he's... I think he's full Fizz Def based on purely on that damage. So, um... I think I just Dream Punch again. I don't lose anything by Dream Punching. I think Conk just wins here. Because of the defense... Uh, because of the bulk up. Uh, how much does Vaporeon take from this? I think Vaporeon still takes about half, doesn't it? Yeah, Vaporeon takes half. So I'm just gonna Drain Punch again. Um, he has to sack something. He either has to sack this, he has to sack the Vaporeon, or he has to sack the Rillaboom. All three of those are huge for him. Um, he needs Vaporeon for Darmanitan, he needs more Pico for the Corviknight, and he needs the Rillaboom for the Primarina. So he's just gonna Flamethrower here. I'm Spadef, so I eat this. Yeah, which you on that. <laughs> um, so Conkelda picking up a second kill. So that's two kills for Big Conk. Um, wherever he goes into, I'm just going to keep Drain Punching, because I get so much HP back. And the more chip I can get on this team, uh, the better it is for endgame Dom. He 
could be Haze Vaporeon. If he goes into Vaporeon and Hazes, then that's fine. Uh, because I get like 50% off on the... I get 50% off and then I can go Prim and Energy Ball. Or actually I could probably just spam Drain Punch, I think. Um, do I need this still? That's the thing. Because now it's Guts boosted. So he does go into the Rillaboom, so I get a little bit more HP back. He probably Drum Beatings. Uh, Rillaboom... If he's max HP from my plus one Drain Punch... I do 68 to 81, so... I'm just gonna Drain Punch and just go for the big damage. So he's gonna Drum Beating, he's gonna slow me down, that's fine, that's fine. It's perfectly fine. If I if he goes into Vaporeon, I'm just, I think I just click Knock, honestly, and get rid of the lefties. So we go for the Drain Punch. We kill the Rillaboom. He's got two Mons left. If he goes into Mopiko, um, I think he has to go into... This will be a big thing, because um, if he's Haze Vaporeon, that's really annoying for my Dom. So, still looking like maybe a Corviknight endgame, if I can get the rocks damage off on the Morpico. So he probably goes Vaporeon here and reveals either Haze or... He either reveals Haze or something. Uh, but I feel like he's got to be Wish Scold. He probably needed... So he goes into Morpico. How much does Morpico do to plus one? Does Morpico get Psychic Fangs? I think it does. Um, how much does it do to me? I don't think it does enough. Um, or Pico. How much? What do you get? Do you get? I don't think Psychic Pangs would kill, but I'm going to calc if it does get it. Where is my Pico? Um. Add Pokemon, more Pico. Do you get you did get Psychic Fangs? I don't think that kills though. Psychic Fangs to me does max max 108. Yeah, he never kills. I just drain punch here. 100 percent drain punch. Oh, he's parting shot, so that's fine. It takes off the plus one attack. So he's parting shot protect aura wheel. Um I could probably use that to set up. Um, yeah, so I just Drain Punch into the Fizz Dev Vaporeon. I didn't ever lose anything by not clicking that. I still do about 40-ish percent. So we get a big chunk of HP back here. Okay, so he's nowhere near full Fizz Dev. Um, that's not full Fizz Dev to be... He took like 50%. He's probably Spadef, I'd assume. I think he might be Spadef. Um, I'm minus one speed, I always undersped this anyway. So I'm just gonna click Drain Punch again. Because I think I can win this endgame. If I had Dynamax the Corviknight and get the defense boosts. So I take a lot from that, I'm at 140 HP. This conk just sort of sits here, doesn't it? I'm at 66, this skull doesn't do anywhere near enough. So I just Drain Punch, he probably tosses off a Wish here, I'd assume. No, I guess for the Protect. Um, trying to take me down a bit more. Um, so let's see. What do I go to? If he gets me at the right HP, if he goes... As soon as I, as soon as this thing dies... Um, so this terrain really helping me out here. <laughs> uh, it's just keeping Conk alive a lot. So I'm at 88 HP. That's 42%. He can't kill me with Scald anyway. So I'm just going to Drain Punch yet again. Uh, if I bulk up on that... um, If I bulk up on that Protect, I think that was game. So he's just going to Scald and I think I kill. Maybe. Or it might be a roll. I die anyway this turn. So um... So we don't get the kill. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. But it does mean we go into Darmanitan, maybe? No, I think we go Corviknight. 
Maybe we got Corviknight, Brave Bird. No. Actually, I could. I could play around his, um. I could play around his Aura Wheels. I really could. Um. With that. So I don't actually. <laughs> I think I die to this Scald anyway. Conkel that dies to this Scald, so that's fine. He probably thinks I'm Mark Punch and protects here. No, he just scolds, so if I was Mark Punch, I actually did just kill there and he kinda just threw that away. But um I think if I go Dom, how much does Dom take? Dom takes way too much. I can't go Dom. I can go Primarina. I go Primarina, I click Energy Ball, I sack the Prim, go into Corviknight Dynamax and get the defense boost. You're 100%. So I go into this, I click energy ball on this because this thing dies. Or actually I could just Moonblast, no, Moonblast is a roll to kill and I don't want to risk that after protect. I also bluff that I'm choiced. Um, does more Pico without the choice band because he's definitely not choice banded. He's probably expert belt. Does that kill me from from full with aura will yeah just literally just but if he's not if he's not expert belt i think it becomes a roll to kill so i just have to go for the moonblast and hope that he's um not expert belt <laughs> i don't know if he will be so let's see let's see um either way because if he does kill me here then i can go into corvanite and start getting defense boosts so let's see, let's see. What is his what is his item? What is his item? So let's just moonblast here because I am Fizz Def for the most part. He is Aura Wheel. Is he E Belt? He is E Belt. Okay. So I think my play is to go Dom. I think my play is Dom. Oh he's Life Orb, okay. That explains everything. I think my play is Dom and just fire punching. Or I might sub actually. I might... No, I think sub's a choke. Yeah... No, he he never... I never stay out of sub range. Uh, I never go into sub range, so I'm just gonna fire punch because he doesn't actually kill me here with anything. So Dom's gonna pick up, pick up this final kill in the game. Yeah, so he just aura wheels. Even Adamant doesn't kill. And here we were, we were Salak. Um, so we're just gonna get off the get off the fire punch and we're gonna win the game. So GG's to JB that had me that had me worried when um when he brought the sub toxic. I'm just glad that I was able to do so much damage with Corviknight to it. <laughs> and that, I think that's what saved me. So um yeah again GG's to JB. All of his stuff will be in the description. All that fun stuff. Um, so I will see you guys next week for week 10.